Imagine this. You and a friend are talking about your schedules, and you remark that you've used the calendar on your iOS device so much that you've absorbed the calendar for this year. You offer to prove it by having your friend name any date this year. After they name a date, you explain that you used to pull out your iPhone, turn it on, go into the calendar app, and look up what day of the week it was. However, without even turning it on, you're able to give the correct day of the week for the date your friend gave. The secret is in the case design. While the case may look like a simple dice design, it holds the secret to giving you the day of the week for any date this year. How? When you pull out your iPhone as an example of what you used to do, you take a quick look at the dice design. Each die represents a month in the year. The upper leftmost die represents January, the next one February, and so on from left to right, then top to bottom, until we get to December at the lower right. This order helps you find the month you need quickly. The left and right faces of each die, when totaled, give the number of the month, so you can make sure you're looking at the correct die for the given month. January has a 1 and a blank face, which represents 0, giving a total of 1. The left and right faces of this die total 10, so we know that it represents October. The number on the top of each die represents a key number for its corresponding month. You use this key number to do a quick addition problem and then a quick subtraction problem, and the answer will give you the day of the week for any desired date this year. As an example, let's figure out the day of the week for June 8, 2011. June is the sixth month, so we need to make sure we're looking at the die whose right and left faces total six. On top of that die is a two. So how do we use that key number? The first step is to take the key number and add the date you're given. In this case, we take our key number of two and add the eight that represents the date. Two plus eight is ten. Since a week is only seven days long, we need to reduce this number so that it's less than seven. We do this by subtracting the nearest multiple of seven that is equal to or less than our total. At this point we have 10, so we subtract 7. 10 minus 7 equals 3. 3 is the answer we need, but what does it mean? After going through this process, you always wind up with a number from 0 to 6, and each of those numbers corresponds to a given day in this simple way. 0 equals Sunday, so you can think of 0 as representing none day, a play on both 0 being equal to none, and nuns whose primary worship day is Sunday. 1 equals Monday, so think 1 day equals Monday. 2 is Tuesday, which is its own mnemonic. 3 is Wednesday. If you fold in your pinky and thumb and hold up the remaining three fingers, it looks like a W for Wednesday. The rest are just as easy. 4 is Thursday, so think of Thursday as Four's Day. 5 equals Friday, or a new name for it, Five Day. 6 is Saturday, which we'll call Sixter Day. In our June 8th example, we wound up with 3, so that means June 8th will fall on a Wednesday. If you check the calendar, you'll see that it does indeed fall on a Wednesday. It may seem like a long explanation, but it's quick and easy to do once you get the hang of it. Let's try and figure out the day of the week for December 25th, 2011. December is easy. It's the last month, so it's the last die. There's a 3 on top, so we add 3 plus 25 to get 28. The nearest multiple of 7 to 28 is, well, 28. We subtract 28 minus 28 to get 0. And as you remember, zero represents Sunday, so Christmas 2011 falls on a Sunday. I'm going to have you try this for yourself right now. On what day of the week does October 31st, 2011 fall? Stop this video, figure out the day of the week for yourself, and then continue playing this video. You're back? The answer? October 31st, 2011 falls on a Monday. Is that what you figured? October is the 10th month, so we look at this die. On top of that is a 5, so we add that to 31 to get 36. Subtract 36 minus 35, since 35 is the nearest multiple of 7 to 36, to get 1, which is a Monday. With a little practice, the Dice Calendar iOS device cases provide a quick and fun way to amaze your friends on the spot. We've been using the iPhone 3G case as an example here, but we also carry cases for the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. Prices start at only $19.99, and you can purchase them at the link in the information box associated with this video.